Freaks, I'm a twist cabbage on big stink, pink, pink gators. My Detroit players, Tim's for my hooligans in Brooklyn. Head right, get the head right, Biggie there, and I. Papa been school since days of under rules. Never lose, never choose to. Bruce, Bruce, who? Do something to us. Talk goes through us. Girls want to us, want to do us, screw us, screw us. Yeah, Papa and Papa. Close like Starsky and Hutch, stick. The level is racing. The game is changing. But I got nothing to lose. Welcome back, y'all, to my YouTube channel. My name is Mark Harmon, and of course you know me from www.marklove1769.tumblr.com or you bought an Atlas Roller from me. I appreciate it. You're going to love it, I promise you. Anyway, I'm taking you through small little, right here, small little stretches you can do right before you go into a leg exercise. What I'm doing is you can actually hit that popliteal nerve and you can actually really increase the stimulation so you can relax your legs. Right here, I'm showing you a back workout, or I'm sorry, a back uh, stretching, and I got somebody else to do it, he loves it. But essentially, you're loosening up your lower back, sliding down so, so slightly um, in order to pop your back. What's interesting about that uh, actual rollout method is that it really digs into your lower back muscles. Those are the hardest muscles to actually uh, loosen up. Uh, I should know this. I mean, I just, I spent months and months and months on it on a regular foam roller. And whereas this one, I just popped it immediately. I just had to get good form and I'll teach y'all good form. But uh, this is a more a, just a brief instructional, uh, kind of get you used to the look of it. And then we'll go into it. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm working out a little lat stretch and even could be a lat exercise. So we're going down, push in, up. Now you see how I am turning my wrists and my hands? And you don't have to do that. That may be a little bit more of a complex move, but it's actually really good. So in mid-stride, you just pivot. You go to uh, like a grip where your palms are facing up and then palms are facing down. Turn, palms are facing down when it comes down. And then, yeah. So you just kind of got to mess with it a little bit. Try it regularly at first, but you're going to feel it in your lats and in your lower chest, mainly. See how my back muscles, my lats are popping out? You know, that little bump right there, right below my shoulder blades. This right here is what I call, it's the bear crawl, or the Atlas bear crawl. And all I'm doing here is literally getting good form back flat. Bam. The slow motion away from you. That's a good ab workout. Um, good cardio if you want to go further. It was tough. I always hated those in football practice. These are really good lat and back stretches. Lots of endorphin release. Now watch as I go down. My butt's back. My back is flat. I'm stretching out my shoulders as far as I can. There you go. And my feet are, my toes are a little bit up. But I'm just stretching and feeling it, coming back very slow. But I'll tell you, the endorphin release is in, intense, and, and you feel really relaxed afterwards, kind of like a, a little meditation or, or something. And here's a little bit more complex. I'm moving forward. It's going to be abs coming up. It's going to be working a little lower back. And this is going to be going into a yoga you know, type of routine. You may recognize it. I'm doing a little variation of it, of course. Just as a kind of a beginner 
uh, tutorial for y'all. This is the same thing, but reverse grip. You're gonna work out pretty much more of the midline, like not the out. When you go forward grip, you're gonna be going the outside. This is more the inside lats. Uh, a little bit of chest, a little bit of um, shoulders too. was a little triceps, a little chest, coming back up for the back, abs, that's what you call the, you know, the up dog, and coming down, it's a lot of control I'm using, now I have a lot of control, I do have, I'm, I have a lot of muscles of course, so don't be disappointed if you cannot do those, okay, eventually you will be able to, I didn't, I wasn't able to do them there for the longest time. Even laying flat as I was, man, it's a good back stretch. Just lay there, stretched out. Feels great. And as you get more control, you're gonna be coming up. Back flex, flexion right there. A lot of stretch in the lower back. Looking up, it feels good. That's that uh, up dog. And then you go to the down dog, or yeah, you can put, you can really stretch out that uh, hamstring and really get a good kind of groin stretch there too uh, if you saw that again these are I mean I call that little lat stretch uh, that you keep seeing it is is kind of like the basic stretch it kind of gets you back uh, to midline or back to center okay so you'll start again always doing that with the lats now, this one's a complicated one, but a very good one. Good balance. Look at my toes. And I'm doing these with shoes on, but I suggest really just to do it with uh, bare feet or those uh, five-finger shoes. So... And here I go, just rolling out my back, getting a little neck roll out. Also doing what you would see is a, you could do pelvic thrust there. You could work on your neck right there. There's a relaxation move that I made up. And these are punching those hips up in the air. Get them up, okay? You're going to get those hips up as high as you can. Bring your feet in closer if you need to. More power. You're getting your neck a little bit, but give that shoulder support so your neck doesn't get the strain. I need, that is a must, is those shoulders need to rest on that pad or else you'll be straining your neck. Now get those hips up, see how I'm like grabbing those bars. Oh yeah, it's actually helping me to really thrust up those hips, really stretch out that lower back. Those abs are being pulled, you know? I mean, it, it feels amazing, good endorphin release. Uh, man, and look at my veins, how they're popping. I mean, they're loving it. So, I'm loving it. Always get set, always get centered. See how I'm getting centered. Really stretch out those lats again. Now, I'm falling onto my ankles. Always a good position to be in. There you go. Very good back flexion, very good stretch. Now, it's a little bit of a, see, this is gonna be a difficult move, but you can do that with the back flexion, and then you can you can really just roll out like that and roll out, you know, those muscles, at the front of the leg or the um, see right there more back. See, I'm doing a lot of lower back flexion. 
And with because this is different than, say, a typical roller, it gives you a lot more support for your feet to sit. It doesn't sink in. Um, you just see, and then I missed that, but hey, it's frustrating sometimes. Do it again. Grab it and go do it again. Don't stop just because you messed up. Don't give up. Now I'm taking those off because, of course, it ain't working. Yeah, I was a little frustrated, but uh, anyway. Um, uh, what I was saying earlier is if you roll out the shin, the muscle, um, you can really get that relaxed too, okay? You want to be flat on it, making sure your back's straight, and you can do a simultaneous that and, and, and um, lower back uh, flexion, a stretch, and extension, flexion and extension. I'm going to attempt to stand up. Let's see. I did fall a bunch of times off, not fall, but I stepped off, so I did a little good, good editing there, but um, you get the point. No tape editing there. Again, very good breathing uh, techniques as well. Very good breathing techniques. Always make sure you are breathing uniformly on these because the better your breathing is, the more you're going to be able to really get these movements, really get smooth with them and integrate them within your, your normal routine, your yoga, uh, tai chi, uh, qigong, uh, regular workout session, just general stretching, so on and so forth. Even gymnastics routines. So right here is very interesting. It's a little hip stretch, extensions, it's little hip flexors. Now it's obliques as well. There you go, stretching the groin out. Then I'm bringing it my foot back. My back should be a little bit more flat than it is. I apologize that that's bad form. But when I'm standing up, I'm standing up without touching the ground. A lot of control here. Now watch. Yep. Get your balance. Get your balance. Come down. Boom. And then what I did there was a slight ab. And to finish it out, make sure your back is all nice and loose. Roll out. That right there is my hemp parts, my favorite supplement to take before and you could take it after. Hemp oil is amazing in food. Comes out green, but it doesn't taste green. It tastes like a nutty flavor. And this is a good post-workout meal. Goji berries. And here it comes. There is the green alchemy protein. Awesome as spirulina chlorella. Good amount of protein, 16 grams of protein per serving. Helps with inflammation. And then you have Sibdax, which is uh, cannabidiol, good for inflammation as well. Thanks for sticking with me. Hopefully you enjoyed that little tutorial, uh, a little music from Nikki Romero in the background. And I will see you, talk to you hopefully soon. Definitely email me at 